generating low frequency noise. This is super useful. I use this all the time. Let's finish what's on this slide and I'll talk about how I use this. So first, let's just create a bunch of high frequency noise. So I'm gonna choose a thousand points. I'll create an array that goes zero to 999. I will then call the rand function to create a thousand random numbers that go from zero to one. And then I'm subtracting 0 0.5 so that I get random numbers going from minus 0 0.5 up to positive 0 0.5. And when I plot that, it looks like this. Then I'm going to FFT that spectrum, or sorry, FFT the signal and calculate the spectrum. And it looks something like this, still rather noise-like. What I'm going to do now is filter it. I'm going to filter out all of the high frequency content and I'll control it through this number 0.02. So N is the number of samples. I will multiply by a number like 0.02. So if, if N is a thousand, this N1 will be 20. And so then what I'll do is from 20 up to 980, I'm going to zero out everything in the spectrum. And I want to keep this symmetric, but I don't need to be too paranoid about it because if I'm not symmetric, what it's going to do is it's going to create a small imaginary component and I'll just delete that anyway. Okay, so I now have my filtered spectrum. This F is my filtered spectrum. Then I inverse FFT that and just throw out the imaginary part, just take the real part. This is now my filtered signal. And now what I see is this nice, beautiful, sort of low frequency noise. And I can control how abrupt that is through this number 0.02. If I make this bigger, this will go higher and higher frequency and change more abruptly. If I make this number smaller, I'll see slower, lower frequency noise. Now here's how I use that. I test a lot of numerical algorithms. Maybe they're root finding, maybe they're optimization, maybe it's a graphics routine, and I just need some kind of random function to test these things on, or examples for class, that sort of thing. I will use this all the time to create random functions for testing my algorithms. It's been very, very useful to me. In a similar way, I can create low frequency noise for two dimensional functions. So we're going through the same steps, but now we just have a two dimensional function. So I'll create an array. In this case, it's 128 by 128. I fill it with a bunch of random numbers uh, bound between negative five and positive five. I will FFT that, and that just still looks quite noisy. I will filter that, but now I have two parameters. I can filter it different in X and Y, and I can make my filtered signal vary more abruptly vertically than horizontally. But if I keep all this stuff matched, it'll be the same randomness up and down. So then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and eliminate a bunch of numbers. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a line through my data here, another line through my data here and zeroing out everything all the way up and down. Then I'm drawing a line this way and a line this way and zeroing out everything. So I'm really just left with numbers in these top corners. That's my low frequency information. Then I will inverse FFT that, throw out any kind of imaginary part, and I get these nice, beautiful, randomish looking patterns. And sometimes I need a periodic pattern, that's periodic. I can stack it and it forms, it's like a tile, it forms a continuous overall image. I can use that to test algorithms. Um, I use it to make neat looking images, examples for class. So this technique has proved really useful for me and I use it a lot.